Sony is known for packing a little bit of extra value in the price point of their cameras. The Sony FS5 seems to fit right between the Canon C100 Mark II and the Canon C300 Mark II. Is this true? Which camera is the best bang for its buck and how do they compare with each other? Let's find out. I'm going to start out with a few observations from my experience shooting with each of these cameras and then we'll dive into a side-by-side -side comparison test of their image quality and let you see if you can figure out which camera is which and which camera you like best. I have in-depth reviews of each of these cameras which you can find in the description below so feel free to check those out if you're interested in more of my thoughts as it pertains to each of these cameras. In terms of price points and overall image quality these cameras are in order from low to high the Canon C100 Mark II being the cheapest and basic image quality, Sony FS5 a middle ground on both, and the Canon C300 Mark II most expensive but best image quality. In terms of price, these cameras are pretty evenly spaced out, the Sony landing right between the two cameras. The Sony and the Canon C300 deliver gorgeous 4K flat log profile images. Here's how the image quality breaks down. 8-bit color 1920-1080 HD only in the C100 Mark II, 8-bit color 4K or 10-bit color HD Sony FS5, 10-bit color 4K or 12-bit color HD Canon C300. Now all these cameras have 4K sensors so their 1080 is really solid. I do have the most shooting experience with the C100 Mark II and I have to say the image out of it is exceptional even though spec wise it's the least capable of the three cameras. Of course that said I do like the image out of these cameras from top to bottom here. In terms of usability and intuitive design of buttons and menus to change the most common settings the Sony is extremely frustrating. Even with over a decade of professional experience, I found it nearly impossible to figure out how to change some of the most common settings even when looking through the manual. Both Canon cameras are far more user friendly. Even though I like the image out of the Sony better than the C100 Mark II, I would rather own the Canon just because of the usability. I found the internal ND to be insufficient in full sun outside conditions on the C100. The Sony and the C300 have powerful enough ND to cope with almost any situation and the Sony has a bonus of internal ND being variable, which is incredible. So in terms of price, I like the cameras in this order. In terms of image quality, I like them in reverse order. And in terms of usability, it's a toss up between the two Canons. C100 is more user friendly, but the C300 has more options and features. Sony sucks when it comes to intuitive menus and buttons. Well, enough about that. Let's get into the side-by-side -side comparison of these three cameras. I want you to grab a piece of paper and write down in a column the numbers 1 through 11. I'm going to play three clips from each shot. Choose your favorite and write down A, B, or C next to the number. And if you don't know which is your favorite, write U for undecided. At the end, I'll reveal which camera is which, and you can see which camera you like best. I have slightly color graded all of the shots because the C100 would really stand out, not being as flat of an image. So these are graded together to try to be a decent grade, but also match closely with one another. Well, let's go.
shot one. Camera A was the 100, camera B was the 300, and camera C was the Sony. Shot two, camera A was the Sony, camera B was the 100, and camera C was the 300. Shot three, camera A was the 100, camera B was the Sony, and camera C was the 300. Shot four, camera A was the Sony, camera B was the 300, and camera C was the 100. Shot five, camera A was the Sony, camera B was the 300, and camera C was the 100. Shot six, camera A was the 300, camera B was the Sony, and camera C was the 100. Shot seven, camera A was the 300, camera B was the 100, and camera C was the Sony. Shot eight, camera A was the 800, camera B was the Sony, and camera C was the 300. Shot nine, camera A was the Sony, camera B was the 300, and camera C was the 100. Shot 10, camera A was the 100, camera B was the Sony, and camera C was the 300. And shot 11, camera A was the 300, camera B was the Sony, and camera C was the 100. There you have it. Let me know in the comments below what your scores were and how you would rank these cameras in comparison to each other if you have user experience on them. Best bang for your buck, I would say, would have to go to the Canon C100 Mark II. Best affordable cinema camera for virtually any kind of project, probably the C300 Mark II. Good value camera, that's honestly very much of a hybrid between these two. Let's see, uh... Oh yeah, the, uh, the Sony, of course. Although I won't be seeing you in the next video, you're sure to see me. Rough. <laughs>